Good evening. I'm Sarah Lee Kessler with the News 9 update. The Rogers Commission is out tonight with a hard-hitting report on the Challenger disaster. The panel today blamed the explosion on faulty rocket seals and called for management changes within NASA aimed at making sure that such a disaster doesn't happen again. More fallout today from the election over the weekend of Kurt Waldheim as president of Austria. That country's chancellor has resigned and Israel has withdrawn its ambassador, both in protest of the election of Waldheim. The New York-New Jersey border war has produced one casualty tonight. The federal government has taken away millions of dollars in grants from the Harborside Development Project in Jersey City. That after New York complained that that project would take away jobs from the state's residents. Today's action is not expected to block completion of the project. I'm Sarah Lee Kessler. In a moment, Papillon returns after these messages. Welcome to a kingdom where everybody's treated like a king. You're the king. You're the king of the the crown jewel of Atlantic City. What better way to spend a summer day than a morning at the Jersey Shore and an afternoon at beautiful nearby Monmouth Park? moment, Papillon returns after these messages. Rock bottom, rock bottom, rock bottom. Rock bottom, everybody's shopping the rock bottom way. Rock bottom, with low, low prices every day. Cosmetics, fragrances, toys, shampoo, houseware, cars. We got it all for you. Rock Bottom, rock bottom. Rock bottom's everyday price on Van Roll-On, three forty-five. Finesse shampoo or conditioner, eighteen ounce bonus bottle, two seventy-four. Alcon saline solution for sensitive eyes, two twenty. Pearl drops toothpaste, two forty-seven. Nair lotion with baby oil or aloe, three forty-six. One a day within vitamins, four ninety-nine. And carry hand and body lotion, regular or scented, five ninety-four. Rock bottom, don't shop the rock. Bottom way, low, low prices every day. Rock bottom. If you're not paying rock bottom prices, you're paying too much. Rock bottom. New York's newest radio station, WNSR, Soft Rock 105 FM. Finally, a radio station I can call my own. Soft Rock 105 FM. It's less talk and more great soft rock. What does WNSR mean when they say soft rock? Not too soft, but not too hard. Soft rock. WNSR plays my favorites from yesterday and today. Lionel Richie, Billy Joel, The Supremes. Soft rock. WNSR, New York Soft Rock, 105 FM. If you watch News 9 primetime tonight... You heard what caused the shuttle explosion that shocked the nation. Why people joined hands on one area beach. And how a transsexual veteran wants to head her American Legion post. Tomorrow on a late edition of News 9 primetime, are more people buckling up? And Al Albert with a Hackensack hometown hero. Don't miss News 9 primetime right after the Mets game. This fox bites. <laughs> WMCA Radio 570, we talk New York.
to express the opinion of the management of WORTV, here is Peter Leon, Vice President and General Manager. Have you ever telephoned the state office for important information and gotten the runaround? Well, sometimes the civil service employee you reach is helpful, but too often it's like pulling teeth. New Jersey's civil service system is obsolete and inefficient. It rewards mediocrity. Our last four governors have tried to change the system, but none of them, Democrats or Republicans, have had much success. But this year there's a real good chance that they can do so. The Assembly has passed a sweeping civil service reform bill, a bill now being considered by the Senate. And, and here's how it would work. The Department of Civil Service would be replaced by a Department of Personnel, headed by a commissioner who answers directly to the governor. The commissioner would set work standards for all employees. Raises and promotions would be awarded on merit and would no longer be automatic. This way, hard workers will get what's due them, and so would the chronic goof-offs and absentees. A merit board would be established to handle employee grievances. Another progressive concept in this bill would make some managers exempt from civil service. These managers would have to deliver or be replaced. The way things are now, most government managers are frozen in position and cannot be transferred or dismissed. This makes government inflexible and unresponsive. Just imagine if a corporate president couldn't choose his own key managers. It wouldn't be good business, and it's not good government either. There's also protection for the long-time civil servant, because only 15% of the managers I just described could be chosen from outside civil service ranks. That's enough to get the job done, while leaving plenty of opportunity for current employees. The bill, sponsored by Anthony Villane, isn't perfect. For example, we'd like to see a labor representative on the Merit Review Board to determine employee per, uh, performance. But we believe this bill provides the best chance for real, meaningful civil service reform for the first time since 1908. It's about time. I'm Peter Leone. We invite your comments on our editorial opinions. Write WORTV Editorial Box 9, See Caucus, New Jersey, 07094. Tomorrow night at 7.30, the New York Mets bring it home when they take on the Philadelphia Phillies. Live from Shea, right here on Channel 9.